welcome back to another entrepreneur training section. My name remains Prince Yemi Kasali. On today's empowerment training episode, we will be talking about how to produce hot spam. Your Chinese spam, your boniki spam. But before we go further, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook if you are yet to do so. Thank you very much. So, what are the materials needed? We need paraffin oil, we need petroleum jelly, we need bee wax, we need camphor, that means industrial camphor. For. We need mentor, we need sulfur, methyl silicate. We don't have that, but we need it in case you want to produce yours. You might look for it if you are able to get it. It's good. So we need peppermint oil, then we need our color. So those are the materials needed for producing hot balm, popularly known as a boniki or Chinese balm or raw. So this is our paraffin oil, this is our petroleum jelly, our bee wax, this is our mentor. This this is our sulfur, then our pepper mint oil. Those are the things we need. Here I'll be adding my paraffin oil. Don't mind the color, I've already used uh, this for a production. If you're doing yours, you need to clean it up. But this is just an home use and production, that is why I am skipping that. So. I've added my paraffin oil, then the petroleum jelly has been added also. So I have to steer my petroleum jelly in the paraffin oil on low heat. So after the solving, I'll be adding bee wax. So this is my bee wax. Bee wax is almost similar to paraffin wax, but bee wax has more ingredients for the body than paraffin wax, but it makes things also solidify first. So I'll be adding mentor, then I'll also be adding industrial camphor. Immediately I add this to the environment change, that is why I'm taking off the heat. So I allow it to cool down a little bit, then I'll be adding my sulfur. Sulfur might come in form of powder and it might also come in form of gel. I'm having a powder form of sulfur. I'm adding my sulfur. I have to stir it very well in order to have a good mix. Note, it's still very hot. I, I have switched off the heat but the oil is still very hot in order for it to heat together and become one. So the reason why we are eating it is for everything to form just one leak, not to burn the chemicals or to reduce the properties of the materials we are using. I'll be mixing this. I keep mixing steering in order for it to become one. So after cooling down, I'll have to add my peppermint oil. Peppermint oil also makes it hot. The materials that will be making this palm hot is the mentor, sulfur and peppermint oil will also make it hot. But if you want to determine how hot it will be, it will depend on the peppermint oil and the mentor that we'll be adding to it. So that makes it hot. That makes some bam hotter than each other. So when you see a boniki and you see rope, if you are comparing the two, those are the two things that will make it hot. Every is having, but the quantity of each one of them determines how hot a production will be. So how hot do you want your production to be? Do you want it to be very hot? Then that can be determined by the quantity of peppermint oil and menthol. So we'll be pouring it into our container so this is the production the more hard you want it to be the more bee wax you should add to it just keep trying till you get your own particular brand then keep to it and just make sure you're measuring it so as to know exactly what you did and to have the exact one you are having at that time so you just keep to it thank you very much my name remains Prince Yemi Kasali I hope you enjoyed this production and if you do please subscribe to our channel or follow us on Facebook. Thank you.